Well, I've got a new project today. Got this auger bit. This is my next door neighbors. Um, they were out using it. They hit a rock or hard pan or something pretty big or pretty heavy, pretty hard. They managed to rip off both of the cutting teeth. Um, basically, we're going to get this thing cleaned up, bit, like actually clean, um, bend the ears or the spiral flute back into shape, straighten out a couple of the bends that got put into this thing, get it painted and back together and back over to him so he can use it. So let's get started. Let's go get this thing cleaned up and get the old broken welds removed and get the ears straightened out. Well, this area right here, um, after we got everything cleaned up and the welder removed, I found a crack. Um, I started to grind it out and it just went all the way through and actually propagates all the way back to, well, about three quarters of the way. So I'm actually just gonna slice this out as a big triangle, boom, boom, and I'll cut a new piece of metal, a little triangle shape, and I'll stick it in there and weld it back in place.
Well, we got everything cleaned up. We got this new piece put in there. I got a little, little thin spot dabbed in there. We're gonna throw the tip back in here. Make sure it lines up properly. Throw this bolt back in there. We got the ears cleaned up. And it looks like they line up right about here. This looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and use the MIG gun to get these tacked in place. We got everything welded up. Last thing is to put the bolt and the drive tooth back in there, get her painted, get her back over to the neighbor so they can uh, keep doing their project they're working on. I knocked this one out pretty quick. Took about an hour to get this all put back together again. Uh, the t cutting teeth were completely ripped off. I suspect he hit a rock or maybe even a large rip possibly. Uh, if you're not paying attention to these, you can definitely tear up the auger bits, the auger itself, and even the transmission on your tractor. So uh, slow and cautious is the way to go with this. But the repair is complete. Uh, the welds I put on are better than what comes from the factory. So I don't think this will fall apart on him in the near future. Overall, it was quick and fun, and it'll drill a lot more holes in the ground for him. Yeah, it was a fun one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you got something out of it. And until next time, thanks for watching.